Well, because I think it's a good idea for the President, Congress, and the American people to listen to the overwhelming amount of scientists who tell us loudly and clearly that climate change is one of the great planetary crises that we face and that it is absolutely imperative. This is not Bernie Sanders. This is the scientific community who tell us that climate change is real. It is caused by human activity, the emission of carbon, that it is already causing devastating problems on this planet in terms of drought and flood and extreme weather disturbances. And unless we get our act together, the planet that we're going to be leaving to our kids and grandchildren is going to be significantly less habitable than the planet that we have right now. So we have got to reverse climate change. We have to cut carbon. And the idea of going to an area and, uh, and, and allowing for increased exploration of some of the dirtiest oil on the planet to me, makes no sense at all. But, Senator, that oil already exists. That pipeline will uh, transport it. So doesn't it ecologically uh, make sense to transport it via pipeline versus, I don't know, the other ways that it's going to be transported if that pipeline's not there? No, I'm not so sure that the oil will be transported, number one, uh, because especially now with the price of oil going down, uh, it is much more expensive to take it by rail and truck than through the pipeline. But second of all, I think that the Congress of the United States and the president have got to be very, very clear in siding with the scientific community and saying we have got to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel, not to increase the exploration right, right. and transportation of dirty oil. And let me take you.